Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Snow here bringing you a, another gameplay video. In the background, what you are going to be seeing is some arena mode. I had a teammate uh, back out on me and I had to pick up the slack and it did pretty well. It's not a competitive map. I don't think Exodus is a competitive map. I haven't seen it pl being played in competitive, so... I don't think it's a competitive map. We're going to be going over all that stuff here in the video. Uh, what arena needs to be successful. Uh, I'm going to go down the list of what I'm going to go over. The first thing, keep up with the competitive rule set. Proper bans for exploiting, cheating, backing out, uh, and then the crypto key exploit. We'll talk about that. Matchmaking, play, uh, playing solo between solo players and team against team players. Ranking up, forced game chat, we'll talk about that, uh, cooldown after wins, and rewards for ranks. Now I'm going to be referencing Counter-Strike Global Offensive in this because Counter-Strike Global Offensive is another first person shooter that has a lot of uh, good competitive features or good public competitive features anyways. So we'll go over that stuff. First thing is... Keeping up with the competitive rule set. Treyarch needs to keep up with the competitive rule set. There hasn't been a Call of Duty that has kept up with the competitive rule set the whole way through to whatever you know competitive game mode there is. In this game, it's arena mode. So they need to keep up with arena mode. Whatever the pros are playing, that's what we should be playing in arena. Um, you know, the rule set for competitive has come out and everything. Vondahar did state that there are still some changes to be made that he sees. Um, but they have come out recently so hopefully within the next update there will be an arena change uh, with the competitive map set and UAV ban because me personally I'm getting sick of UAV being banned. Uh, or me having to spend a ban on a UAV. Because the pros don't have to do it, why should I have to do it? In this game, I actually gave up on it, and I actually used it to my advantage. Because screw it, but you know that shouldn't be that that shouldn't be competitive. UAV should not be in competitive. Same thing with counter UAV. I don't think that should be in competitive. But you know, it, it, they just need to keep up with the rule set. Next thing is, is proper bans for exploiting, cheating, and backing out. Um, there needs to be some kind of like, you know, a program in the game to where it senses whether you're cheating or whether you're hacking or whether you're trying to DDoS or something like that. Counter-Strike Global Offensive has it, uh, kind of. But there needs to be something for the whole cheating aspect to where the game will sense that you're cheating and will kick you out. Uh, backing out and exploiting. Right now, currently, there's an exploit to where if they fix it in free-for-all and gun game, but if you sit in arena mode, AFK, doesn't matter if you win or lose, you will still earn two crypto keys. Now they fixed it in gun game and they fixed it in uh, free for all to where you have to have at least some score per minute, I'm pretty sure. So you can't sit there AFK. But I've ran into already a lot of people that have caught on and they're sitting AFK. There needs to be something in the game that kind of senses, okay, this guy isn't playing, you know, he needs penalized for this. Maybe a cooldown period or something like that. Now for the backing out or losing connection or uh, dashboarding, stuff like that, you need to throw bans in there and you need to be harsh with it. Maybe not the first time or the second time, but the third time. Maybe the third time do you know a 24-hour ban or a 12-hour ban because that's what Counter-Strike Global Offensive does. After so many times, the ban gets harder and harder and harder to where you can get like weak banned and stuff like that for trolling and killing teammates and stuff so you know they need to implement a better banning system other than just five minutes or you know taking uh, some points away from your loss matchmaking is okay 
but it's still screwed up. Matchmaking, sometimes I will get into lobbies with, you know, 12 or level 12s, rank 12s, and rank 9s, and I'm a rank 2. I shouldn't be getting matched up against that. Plus, they're all partied up, too. I see they all got the same clan tag. You know, the little white bar on the side shows that they're all partied up. Like, it, it's so... I don't know. They need to fix that. It needs... It was good in Black Ops 2 for the most part until the end of the game when people stopped playing it or whenever the game was over, people stopped playing it. But they need to fix that for sure. Um, along with, you know, if you're playing solo, play against solo players. If you're playing against a team, you know, play against team players. That's how it should be. It shouldn't... You know, you shouldn't get penalized because you're trying to go in solo and play like a competitive player or whatever the whole ordeal is. Now, the ranking up process. We'll go into the ranking up process. The ranking up process, I think, has always been fairly easy in Call of Duty. Uh, Black Ops 2, it was a grind, but, it, I mean, it was fairly easy because it was all basically based on wins. And I don't think that should be it because we'll go back to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. In Counter-Strike Global Offensive, um, you don't know exactly when you're going to rank up. Now, you have to play 10 placement matches in order to get going uh, and in order to be placed. After you play those 10 placement matches, you got a 24-hour cooldown period. Or... I'm pretty sure it's a 24 hour or it's after your two wins of your place after your placement it's after your two wins or something like that but anyways there you where am I going with this you uh it's basically I don't know I think it's just too easy because you can sit there for 24 hours and get you know, rank 12 or whatever the max rank is in this, which I gotta figure out. I can't believe I don't know that. But you gotta get, you can get that within 24 hours. Now, in Counter Strike Global Offensive, you can't get that within 24 hours because you win two matches, then there's a 24 hour cooldown period. Um, and then you win two more. And it's not based on wins. You can lose a game and still rank up because let's say you do really well I mean you're top of the leaderboard you did really well in the objective and everything but you still lost you can still rank up because the game knows that you did well in game and you did what you were supposed to so that's what I think uh, Black Ops 3 needs another one forced uh, in-game chat this is a little touchy subject but I think you know, forced in-game chat would force players to communicate and force players to, you know, learn call-outs and stuff like that. Learn more of the competitive scene because if they get into, like, a lobby, let's say with me or uh, one of you guys that know competitive really well, um, you can teach him and then he might learn and be like, oh, this is really fun that's one thing everybody's in party chat and, and and you know mics dead mics are silent so i think forced in-game chat would be good as long as playstation can fix their in-game chat let's just put it that way um now cooldown after wins i went over that with the ranking up process i think after so many wins you have a cooldown just so you can't rank up in a 24 48 hour period it takes maybe a week or so to rank up and then rewards for ranking up now when it comes to rewards for ranking up let's say it's a, a full suit for all your specialists or something for getting to the max rank something that shows whenever you're in public match or something that you can show off and something to grind for other than that rank um, you know you're sitting there in the winner's circle of a team deathmatch and your characters got on the max level uh, rank suit or whatever on his reaper that is something to grind for everybody knows that dude grinded hard for that he is really good something along those lines that's all that's all I think this game needs to be successful now we probably won't see it in this one but we might see it in the next one we will see um, if you like what I had to say give it a thumbs up 
comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.